Ballet Centre um, was the first ever dance school in Dubai. It was founded in 1986. So we've been here for a really, really long time. Um, I'm really proud to be teaching here. It's got a great set of children, um, really diverse. The kids are also um, creative and involved. It's, yeah, it's a brilliant atmosphere to be here. We have lots of classes. So we're called the Ballet Centre and we do predominantly teach ballet um, alongside tap and modern dance. But it's the centre really for all the arts. Um, we've got taekwondo, gymnastics, arts uh, classes, drama, uh, music, there's lots going on. So it's a real hub for um, creativity, um, confidence, ex expressiveness. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a brilliant place to be here at Ballet Centre. Dance is something that kids do from being two, three years old. They hear a piece of music and they start jigging about to it um, and they don't even realize that they're dancing it's just something that's inside them and to me that should be something that is you know really um, built on and pursued from that young age because it's something natural for the human body to do so there's then with it being natural but um, there's also the skills and other aspects to a dance education, the, the discipline of it, um, developing real structured coordination, um, dancing to music, especially classical music with ballet, so they're developing a musical ear uh, which they might transform into something else. Um, confidence levels, they're put under pressure. The show we recently just did, they had to get on stage seven-year-olds, you know, it might have been their first time on stage, and they're being put under pressure. Um, but then the sense of achievement that they then gain from that, um, you know, is invaluable, because as we go into our future, we're going to be put under pressure as adults to get jobs, to get into university, to take uh, school exams. There's so many different uh, things that happen that I think all these different things they do in dance is going to um, be a benefit to them. So back in December 2019, not that long ago now, but um, we did the Peter Pan show here at the Ballet Centre. It was brilliant. Um, it was fantastic, actually. They, we chose to do a storyline because we think it's a great opportunity for kids to get involved in a character and um, not just be doing a dance as such, so they're having to being more well-rounded as a dancer. Um, it, they started training or started rehearsing for it in September and the show was uh, the beginning of December so it was uh, constant rehearsals um, and yeah no it was just fantastic the costumes were amazing we had brilliant feedback from parents which is something we really really want um, we want the, the parents to be proud of their kids on stage um, so, yeah, and the kids came out of it just thrilled, you know. They had two performances um, and they did a brilliant job. Really, really, really good. So we're going to take a few snippets um, out of the show. So you're going to see um, mermaids on point. Um, you're going to see little uh, Tinkerbell's dust in gold tutus. They're seven years old. We're going to see some tap dancing from our pirates. Um, and some modern dancing from the Indians um, and some other little bits as well. So it's going to be a really exciting show. Um, lots to see, brilliant costumes and some really excited kids. I think it will be a really fantastic idea to have our students talk from personal experience about their dance education. Um, we have some students here that have now been here for over 10 years they're currently taking their GCSEs. I think it will be yeah, great to hear from them. Um, and also to hear from our younger students, why they come to ballet every week, what excites them about dance. You know, uh, children are, they're gonna be honest. Whatever comes out is gonna be so genuine and real. And I think that's something that our audience should hear. I really hope they'll be inspired, um, especially by the kids and the confidence that they have when they're coming on stage and the pure enjoyment that they are seeing in front of them just with um, yeah, these children 
moving and doing something that they clearly love and I think that's inspiring to see. I think we should all be doing something that we love all the time um, and I think from um, when I'm talking about the benefits I hope that the audience really understand where I'm coming from and and can relate to to everything that's being said really in regards to the benefits and the skills and how that might you know really mold a person into a great adult. Dance is the most inclusive thing as I said earlier just about we all have some movement in us, some more in time than others, <laughs> um, but we all, we all have that natural movement and whether it doesn't matter what country you come from, every country has their own personal style, whether it be to do with the music that they listen to or their national dance of their country, um, the whole world dances and ballet especially is, is really inclusive. We teach here the Royal Academy of Dance syllabus for ballet and the Imperial Society of Teaching Dance for Modern and Tap. And one of the brilliant things about these syllabuses is that they're international and they're inclusive, it's recreational. They're there to yeah, involve everybody that wants to, to take part in ballet tap or modern.